This is the Turf Tiger II, and this is really the king of the jungle. Uh, we're talking about a high strength double steel frame that ensures a really solid foundation for years to come. You're talking about a heavy duty drive system with dual 16cc Heidegger pumps and high torque 18ci Parker wheel motors. Very responsive, very dependable power with cooling fans. We've got a heavy duty drive shaft that delivers solid, dependable power to a cutter deck. Our cutter decks are uh, 52, 61, and 72 inches. It's a velocity plus deck, and you've got nearly a half inch of steel on top of that. You're talking about seven engine options from Vanguard, Kawasaki, and Kohler. There's also a Kubota diesel. Uh, this will go from up to uh, 12 miles per hour forward speed with 22 inch drive wheels, and it's really you know, one of the most rugged, dependable units out there when you're talking about needing uh, a large, powerful commercial zero turn. Hi, I'm Jay Hall from Skag Power Equipment. I'm a senior design engineer. This is the new V-Ride XL. It's available in a 52, 61, and 72 inch deck. It's got a 38 Cowie, 38 Kohler, and a 40 horse Vanguard. It's got 12 gallon fuel capacity, available with a dual wheel accessory. The frame is made out of two by three tubing, which is bigger than most of our other frames. It's got more room on the operator platform. It's got the same simple controls as our current V-Ride. Good morning, Dave with Skag Engineering, and we have our RC Extreme Slope Mower. It's a hybrid system, remote controlled, up to 55 degrees of continuous slope motion. After 45 degrees, the engine kicks out. It'll run on battery power only, and then it will kick back in when it comes back below 45 degrees. This will be a spring application, extreme slope mower from Skag for your 2024 season. Good morning, I'm Troy Blewett. I'm with Skag Power Equipment, and I'd like to introduce you to our turf storm. So we have two models. We have our ST30, which has a 120 pound capacity hopper and gives you a 25 foot spread. And then it also has a 30 gallon tank capacity for any liquid that you're using. Fully featured instrument panel. Um, it puts all the gauges at your fingertips and it's got a very comfortable and easy to learn operator system. Obviously it's a stand on, but the 30 inch width allows you to get this through gates, which is very convenient when you're doing residential areas. Then we have a Turf Storm 60, and that happens to have a 200 pound hopper capacity and a 60 gallon fuel tank capacity. Uh, and that is obviously for your larger jobs. And again, that has the fully spacious operator platform with suspension, extra large, thick padded cushions, and those are all removable for service access. Hello, I'm Kevin Beck with Skag Power Equipment, here to talk about the new Jackal. The Jackal is 1,125 pound rated capacity machine, 3,400 pounds of weight, comes with three engine options, Kubota, Kohler, and Yamar diesel, all 25 horse, four mile an hour ground speed, has several hydraulic hookups for attachments. The vehicle is capable of narrow tracks, seven inches wide and nine inch tracks standard. Tracks are easily interchangeable with removal of some spacers. The machine should be available spring of this year. Instrument panel area has easy to control controls, adjustable rate for lifting and lowering as well as the attachments. So this is a Skag Windstorm. It's a stand-on blower. Uh, 37 horsepower Briggs & Stratton Vanguard EFI. Heavy duty gear, hydro gear, 12 cc pumps. High torque Parker 14 CI wheel motors. The blower output is 6,000 CFM and the ground speed is zero to five miles per hour, both forward and reverse. 24 inch drive tires. Uh, allow it to really cover a lot of ground. And you're looking at, you know, a massive air output here. So when you're moving uh, 
big amounts of leaves and leaf and debris. It's very effective. Um, the nozzle direction system allows you to put that debris right where you want to move it to. So very effective in that respect. It's got a large eight gallon fuel tank, wide, easy to fill uh, tank. And you're really looking, I think, at a unit that will give you a lot of information because it's got our Tiger Eye advanced monitoring system. So you're getting a virtual eye on crucial systems and safety functions, including uh, an integrated hour meter and a lot more. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Emilio Ramirez. I'm over here at SCAG. Today we're gonna talk a little bit about our electric units. We've got the EVZ, which is more of our residential piece here. We're also featuring the capabilities of the machine for those customers who enjoy that acreage, but they don't want to disturb their neighbor at seven o'clock in the morning, but they enjoy cutting and you know having that pride in their grass. Uh, as you can see, the unit is uh, very, very clean. The fit finish, uh, electric motors, uh, kilowatt on the unit. We've also got um, our EVs, EV entry unit into the commercial here, uh, which is similar to those who, who, who use CAG, our V-Ride. 52 inch cut, it still has the velocity deck on it, uh, which is featured here. Uh, this is a <coughs> um, 10 battery unit, so three, kilo, three, three kilowatt batteries in each. 30 kilowatt, uh, estimated runtime, normal cutting length. It's gonna probably get you, net you about six to eight hours. And I give you that range just a tiny bit because if you're lopping off the thicker stuff, uh, it's weeded or it's it's very, very, uh, you know, fertilized, it's gonna eat a little bit of power. But uh, normal average run times we're seeing between six and eight hours in our testing. <clears throat> we're hoping to have this thing unit out mid mid-spring 2024 and uh, if you've if you've been on our units uh, you know how they control they operate I've been on this unit just slightly it actually when you let off the the controls here it's gonna actually uh, disengage the electric motor so it actually frees free wheels just a tiny bit more but once you give it yourself a minute or two uh, you're gonna be able to drive the unit uh, freely if you're used to the V-Rides and, and hydraulic pumps, which we all are, most of us, um, you know, we're used to the constant pressure, the constant engagement. Uh, I did have a, a customer test our unit out in the demo booth yesterday. Uh, he was, he was kind of zipping all over the place. Uh, he, he actually enjoyed the way it rode. It took him a minute because he said it, he it just had to relearn his brain, remap his, his hands on how the controls affected it. But again, just a few minutes, it's not gonna affect you at all and looking forward to, if you can, still make it out to the booth, if not having these units out at our dealerships this spring. Good morning, I'm Dan Nissen with the Versatran Group. We've got our air-operated Versatran Retriever. This is our 6T uh, non-CDL non unit. It's very versatile. Anyone with a driver's license can drive this. Everything painted black in color is what we make at our plant in our metalcraft facility in Beaver Dam, Wisconsin. We procure the chassis and we do the install on site. This is very uh, useful uh, piece of equipment that can haul various pieces in the way of skid steers, uh, loaders, mini, skid, mini uh, back hoes, as well as scissors lifts and lawn and garden equipment as well. Um, the unit works well for a variety of purposes in a variety of markets. Uh, started out in the rental industry, also has opportunities to be utilized in construction, contractors, uh, lawn and garden, and drillers as well. Uh, so it's been a, a great product mix. It really rounds out our portfolio of the 6T here with our 15T tandem axle, as well as our tandem um, 15T and our 20T uh, comes in a tri-axle and a quad-axle configuration. So very long-lasting. Uh, operational product that we have here comes with a lot of standard features in the other in the way of upper flashing beacons upper and lower work lights the aluminum chain tray rack every unit comes equipped with a 15,000 pound electric worn winch we have a backup camera system and a handheld 10 button radio remote you can operate the bed and the ramp independent of the truck running and the, ten, and the 10 button handheld remote will allow you to operate the bed in the ramp in this manner, one through four on the left, 
will deploy it, one through four on the right will bring it back. You can also operate the winch functions as well. So again, um, appreciate the time and look forward to seeing you down at the Equipment Expo here in Kentucky at booth 9104. Thank you.